Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just sitting here going through some data and we noticed something I want to show you guys. Uh, real quick though, we are now using HP Tuner's beta version. Uh, they talked to us and they've got us using the beta for the VCM scanner. And now we're seeing all of our parameters. Most importantly, we are seeing the knock retard. So let's uh, work through here and see what we've got. So as we're rolling through, I want to show you guys this. As we're rolling through, I'll flip this over to AFR real quick. As we're rolling through, I want you guys to pay attention to, okay, now we're in fuel enrichment. So this is the beginning of our run. Now, right here is AFR. And as we roll through, we are seeing 11 and a half ish AFR, kind of bounces around there a little bit. Just watch it as it, it transitions through the run. Looking really good there, still pretty good within the range we're wanting to see. And then it starts slowly getting leaner and leaner. So our AFR starts slowly creeping up towards 12 and then higher. So we're getting towards the peak RPM that we are gonna be running, which is about 6,300, probably ever is the max. We're probably gonna see See it starting to bounce and hit 12. Now we're just, it's getting lean, 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 lean. Let's move up here a little ways. And then right before, let me back up, right before I let out of it, see how it's getting up to like 12, 9, right in there. It's just getting leaner and leaner. That is because even with the booster pump, we're running out of fuel capacity. And this little guy is how we're going to fix it. Uh, this is a Kenny Bell booster pump part that came with our booster pump. So normally the boost pump runs at 17 and a half volts when it kicks on. So ours kicks on at three uh, pounds of boost. And it just, when it goes to that 17 and a half volts, it's basically making the pump run a little bit harder and letting us have more output out of that pump. And so we can meet our fuel requirements. Well, surprisingly, we need more fuel even still than that. Just barely, as you saw at the end there, it's going a little bit lean and, uh, no matter how much we turn up the injectors, it's not getting enough. So this little guy is called a step-up plug. And what that does is it allows it to go, or it actually really just plugs into the booster pump, and uh, it tells it, hey, I'm here. That means I want 21 volts. So when it kicks on, it's going to kick on a 21 volts instead of 17 and a half. It's going to let the pump run even faster, and hopefully it'll meet our fueling requirements. So let me uh, th show you guys how to throw this thing on. It's really easy, especially the way we have it mounted. So here we go. All right, so our supercharger is doing a good job. Everything's been solid. It's making enough power to where we can't even uh, get enough fuel to it. So right here on the Kenny Bell, you can't really sell, tell because my finger's trying to, trying to focus on my finger there, but that's where we want to plug in the step-up plug. So let's go down here, push it in and boom it is on there and it is going to tell it now hey time for 21 volts when we kick on simple as that you guys so let's go take this thing out for a spin and get some data logs all right you guys we're back at the test spot the road looks like it's pretty clear so we're gonna get out onto the road we're gonna go about 40 miles an hour and start the data log and then hit it um and hopefully our wide band right here will read no more than 12 on the gauge. So let's get up to 40 and start this log. All right, here we go. So you saw it, it didn't really get over 11 and a half, which is really good. So in the fuel table, we have a lot of fuel, uh, way a lot of fuel going into it uh, on the table. So uh, you saw what it's doing there. Now, we also have it tuned still for with the 17 and a half uh, volts. So down low, we're still seeing like way too much fuel now because of the, um, step up plug being in there it's it's 
definitely getting a little more fuel, uh, so it was a little on the rich side, but we'll tune that out. Um, but that looks really good. That plug is doing what it is supposed to do. Everything's awesome now. So with HP tuners working and with the uh, step-up plug for the Kenny Bell doing its job, we should be really, really good uh, now to get the fuel dialed in completely and then we should be able to uh, start doing some timing. And uh, I have tried a couple of rips in first, and let me tell you, I can tell it's faster than it was before in first uh, than it was uh, without the supercharger. But uh, in second gear, it's really hard to tell because it's such a long gear. We're still on 33s, truck's really heavy. So um, I'm sure it is faster though. First feels definitely faster. Uh, it just guts, gets and goes in first gear. I mean, you're through fit first gear so fast. I guarantee uh, the times are going to be faster to the eighth mile for certain. So the quarter mile times are going to be better too. I really want to get this thing tuned and get back to the track. But for now, we're going to keep tuning and I'm going to keep trying to get some good videos out to you guys. Um, in the comments, tell me what you want to see and I'll get that done. We'll talk about it, whatever it is. If you have any questions about boost, about timing fuel whatever if I can answer that question I will do my best to answer it and if not then we'll all learn something so uh, you guys that's gonna do it for this one thank you for watching uh, and uh, God bless